Welcome back to Wellness Wednesday on All Sides. I'm Ann Fisher. You've heard the expression to talk turkey, that is to speak plainly and to the point. Today we're talking turkey about turkey and its nutritional benefits. Joining us now is nutritionist and host of the Nutrition Diva podcast, Monica Reinagel. She is, there's a link to her podcast on our website at wosu.org slash all sides. Monica, welcome back. Thanks, Ann. Great to be with you again. You just returned from Ohio where you visited a turkey farm. What brought you out there or out here? That's right. I was just in your backyard up there in northwest Ohio, uh, and I was out there for um, a fascinating tour of the turkey industry that was hosted by the National Turkey Federation. They are, not surprisingly, uh, trying to, to raise awareness of turkey as a great source of lean protein um, and a very sustainable agricultural product. And Wow, I learned so much about turkey. I visited um, one of your great family farms there in Ohio, Cooper Farms, mm-hmm. who have been raising turkeys for three generations. But um, it was a, a great trip. And we also had an opportunity, um, some wonderful chefs that are um, hidden away, hidden gems in Ohio, uh, Aaron Weibel of the Sweetwater Chop House up in Defiance, Ohio, and Michael Delegata of Michael Anthony's in Versailles cooked us some fantastic tasting menus featuring turkey. So I really had a great time in Ohio these last three days. So thanks for uh, hosting there. <laughs> thanks to your state for hosting. So what did you learn? Well, I, you know, I knew that turkey was um, a great lean protein source. I guess what I what I really took away from it was the fact that we um, – that we undervalue turkey. You know, we tend to think of it once a year, right, on mm-hmm. Thanksgiving, and uh, and maybe at the deli counter when we're getting our sliced lunch meats. But as somebody who develops a lot of recipes and uh, and talks a lot about healthy eating, um, I, I definitely have to admit I have uh, that turkey does not come to mind, and it should because it's really versatile, really easy to work with, uh, very affordable. And um, and probably deserves a little bit more of my attention and everybody's attention. But uh, but it was also just great to be on. You know, I live in a city on the East Coast, and it was wonderful to see um, the people who are every day producing our food and the care that they put into it. Uh, right now, there's an enormous concern about avian influenza, mm-hmm. and I I was so impressed by the biosecurity measures that they have in place. Um, at we visited about six different facilities, and I, I think I've seen operating theaters were, that weren't as, uh-huh. <laughs> as clean and and uh, and well protected. Um, so they're doing a great job up there. But uh, but I did come home sort of with a renewed appreciation for how much more I could be doing with turkey than than I am. So that was lots of fun. For a lot of people, they worry about poultry and how they're housed. How? Well. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I'm glad you mentioned that. I live in Maryland, which is a big chicken-raising state, and there is a lot of concern about the animal welfare of of chickens. And uh, one uh, thing that I learned in the last few days is that all turkeys are cage-free. Just because of the size of the bird, they cannot confine them in small spaces, and that's one of the things that people have concerns about chicken, that they are, you know, packed in, that they don't have enough room, and... uh, you, turkeys are all cage free, whether whether you're paying extra for that or not. So they live in very uh, comfortable, clean, spacious uh, barns where they're kept um, very comfortable and safe from predators. So it was nice to see that we can uh, uh, that we can enjoy turkey without, uh, you know, feeling like we're earning bad karma. You know, um, we we take for granted chicken eggs, but why don't we have turkey eggs? Did they talk about that? <laughs> We all asked that, um, and we saw some turkey eggs, and we actually saw them being hatched, Ooh. which was amazing, amazing to see those little chicks coming out. And, of course, they were just cute as, as all get out. Um, they, the, you could eat a turkey egg, and um, apparently they're wonderful for making egg noodles and, and other kinds mm. of pasta because you get a really rich yellow color from them. Um, and they're perfectly nutritious. The reason that we don't eat them is purely a matter of cost effectiveness. It would just cost too much. Um, uh, Gary Cooper, who is the COO of Cooper Farms, told me that he'd probably have to charge about 20 bucks a dozen for turkey eggs wow. <laughs> because of, you know, the, the realities of that uh, agriculture. So I think that's why we don't eat turkey eggs. Okay. Well, and, and how does the nutritional value of turkey compare to chicken? 
You know, it's actually a little bit higher in protein, a little bit lower in fat. Of course, it depends on which cut. In all yeah. poultry, the the dark meat is going to be just a little bit higher in fat, but also as a result a little moister, a little more flavorful, and even with the dark meat, um, still a very nice lean protein uh, that is uh, lower in saturated fat than a lot of uh, than the red meats, uh, of course. But, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's even a little bit leaner than chicken. But, you know, fat is not really the enemy. You know, mm-hmm. it's not about um, necessarily eliminating all the fat from the diet for for me it was more about well this is a this is a way to put more variety in the diet this is um you know something that we could be using uh just to mix it up a little bit so that we're not over overly reliant on any one source of animal protein Okay. It is, you're listening to Wellness Wednesday on All Sides with Ann Fisher. We're talking about good nutrition with my guest, Monica Reinig. 